Hello fellow food lovers. Today I will be making honey garlic battered jumbo shrimp or prawns. You will need one pound of large shrimp or prawns. For the batter you will need one cup white flour, one and a half teaspoon baking powder, a quarter teaspoon salt, about one cup of water. For the honey garlic sauce you will need four pieces garlic, one cup water, one tablespoon soy sauce, four tablespoons honey, and one tablespoon cornstarch. Okay, so I have four pieces of garlic. I'm gonna smash them with the back of my knife, and I'm gonna mince them really fine. I'm gonna make them as small as possible because when you're eating the shrimp with the sauce, you don't want big chunks of garlic in the sauce. You want it to be kind of a fine mince so a lot of the flavor can go into the sauce. So honey garlic and honey garlic battered shrimp is a really common Canadian Chinese and American Chinese dish not so common in China or in Hong Kong. The honey garlic sauce is also used for chicken balls and um, anything else that's battered pretty much. So I'm going to put one cup of flour into a mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder into the into the flour. And for seasoning, I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to start off by adding a cup of water. So I'm going to whisk, so I'm going to mix it until the water is thoroughly mixed in with the flour. So what you want is a very thick batter. So this is more like a paste, it's still too thick. But you don't want a really wet batter. If you have a really wet batter, I'm going to add just under a quarter cup of water and see how that goes. So you don't want a batter that's really thin. Otherwise, when you deep fry the shrimp or anything else, the batter will probably fall off the shrimp when you're deep frying. So you don't want a paste, but at the same time, you don't want a light batter. So you just want to add enough water to the paste so you make a really thick batter. So this is a really thick batter, as you can see. So it flows off the whisk, and that's what you want. But you don't want anything too wet, otherwise it's not going to work for deep frying. Okay, so I've got about 10 jumbo shrimp there. So a lot of times when you buy frozen shrimp now, they're already deveined. And all you have to do is shell them. And it's easy to shell them, you just peel the shell off from the back with a cut knife cuts, uh, where the devein cuts is. If for some reason you have large shrimp and they're not deveined, all you need to do is make a slit down the back of the shrimp and rinse it on the, on the tap water until that little black vein comes out. If you're working with smaller shrimp, you may not need to devein them, but on a fairly large shrimp, if you're eating it and the vein's still in there, it, you may notice it. It may be a little uh, unpleasant to eat. Uh, it, it, they call it a vein, but it's actually uh, the di di digestive tract of the shrimp. So it's got a bunch of gunk in it. Okay, so I got 10 shrimp shelled. I'm going to season. I'm going to add a pinch of salt to the shrimp so it's got some flavor to it.
Okay, I have the wok on high heat and I have it filled at the halfway mark with oil. So it's been on high heat for about four or five minutes now. So to test to see if it's hot enough, you take a wooden chopstick and you would dip it into the oil and if bubble comes off the chopstick, then it's hot enough to deep fry with. So you don't want to fill the wok more than half full with oil. You don't want the rest of it overflowing if it gets too hot and bubbling. Okay, so I gave the batter a quick whit, a whisk to get, just to mix it before I use it. And then I poured the 10 shrimp into the batter. So I'm going to mix the shrimp into the batter, make sure that they're well coated before I drop them into the oil. Yeah, make sure that the shrimp's covered in batter before you drop it in the oil. Okay. So with 10 shrimp, I'm just going to cook them five shrimp at a time. Since they're jumbo shrimp, they take up a lot of space in the frying fryer. So I'm going to do two batches of five shrimp. Cook it for maybe two, three minutes on one side and then flip it over so that the other side gets cooked as well. And sometimes when you drop them in together, they'll stick to each other. So make sure you break them up so they're not uh, connected to each other. And shrimp will cook quite fast. Even when it's battered and, and, and deep fried, it'll take maybe three, four minutes to cook in total. It's really fast to cook shrimp. The Chinese will use this batter technique uh, with chicken as well and pork, beef, veal, almost any meat and fish as well, fish, scallops, um, especially with uh, Canadian Chinese and uh, American Chinese restaurants, they'll do this batter technique pretty, pretty much uh, in a lot of their recipes, especially with the sweet and sour sauce. Okay, so I have a plate uh, behind the wok with some paper towels on it. I'm going to use that to drain the oil when I take the shrimp out of the fryer. Okay, I'm going to add the second batch of five shrimp in now. Okay, so after two, three minutes, I turned them over and cooked the other side. And after maybe four minutes total, the shrimp are done. So I'm taking them out, the second batch. So I recycle the oil for deep frying. So I'll drain it through a sieve into a metal bowl that I keep on top of the stove for when I have to deep fry with the wok. Okay, so I cleaned the wok. It's on high heat. I added two tablespoons of cooking oil and then I added the garlic. So you want to lightly brown the garlic. You don't want it to burn otherwise it's going to ruin the sauce. So if it's a light brown it's perfect and then you can add a glass of water to that. Okay so give it a stir. Have the 
garlic infused flavor into the oil. And then you can add a, one glass of water. Give that a stir. And then for the seasoning, we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce. And four tablespoons of honey. So you want to add the soy sauce because if you just add honey only, the sauce will have a kind of a one note sweetness. But if you add some soy sauce, it'll be slightly savory, a little salty, and sweet at the same time. So yeah, so it's one tablespoon soy sauce, four tablespoons of honey. Then uh, let that sauce come to a boil. Okay, we're gonna make the cornstarch slurry. So I have cornstarch, I'm gonna put one tablespoon into a bowl. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water to that. And I give that a stir, make sure the cornstarch is dissolved in the water. Okay, when the water is boiling, I'm going to add the cornstarch slurry to it. Give it a stir, make sure that the cornstarch is mixed in with the water and that the sauce thickens correctly. So sometimes people will toss the shrimp, the battered shrimp in the honey garlic sauce. If you do that, you want to make sure that the sauce is quite thick. So maybe one tablespoon of cornstarch is not enough. You might want to add maybe even two. The sauce should be thick, almost like honey, before you throw the shrimp in. Otherwise, if it's too wet of a sauce, then the, the batter will get soggy quite quickly and then it'll, it'll ruin the dish. Um, I think the best way to serve this is with a honey garlic sauce on the side so people can dip their shrimp in the sauce. And that seems to be the best way to keep the crispness um, and, uh, and keep the, the batter intact. So I'm going to transfer the shrimp in, onto a serving plate. And it's done. It's a very tasty dish. It's meaty and sweet and savory and garlicky. Yeah, so the best way to serve it is with the sauce on the side that people can dip their shrimp into. Okay, bon appetit.